Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D model. And this 3D model I get directly from you as the request if I can focus on some features, for example, the side extrude or offset feature, and also some pattern or surface modeling. So I will try to create similar part, it will be not based on dimension. I'd like to show you logic and also I will show you some additional configuration option for the Creo 10 or you can use it also for another Creo configuration. So let's start with base shape and we will really jump to Creo and create new 3D model. The name will be test for example. And in the test we will start really to create the bottom surface. So if we will create simple surface I need to orient to 2D in the sketch and over here we are able to create symmetrical rectangle. So really easy, some shape like this, only quickly, okay, maybe some small modification and will be better. Yep. So for example, 800 or that you will be. And that's good. And over here, for example, 600. Yep. And we will offset it on the bottom. That's good. And maybe double check over here I see that is not straight line so maybe if I will really create the better better shape so we can really easy go to to the to the sketch and again to orient to 2d and directly here maybe we can create the arc here yeah on the left side and if you would like to do it on the opposite direction also we are able to create center line and select references and mirror around. Yeah, so everything looks good. Shape is not straight line. And if I will create again the extrude feature, as you can see, the system always stay in 3D and I'll really like to jump to 2D. If you don't want to use this button always, sketch view, you can simply cancel feature, select option, and in configuration editor you can found 2D. So what does it mean? The system found for you a lot of possibilities, but we would like to use the function sketcher start in 2D and default is no. Yeah, I'd like to use the 2D always and I will add and close. What does it mean? My default configuration option is here. If I will come from OK, yes, I would like to apply changes for future. Now we can jump for 3D again and you will select again the extrude feature and sketch plane. The system will automatically orient to 2D. I don't need to push the button anymore only if I will spin the model and then if I would like to go to 2D. We would like to use the offset feature and if you will select the edge system would like to offset one edge. If you use the shift button and you will select the surface loop then the system will show you that it's able to offset all edges around the surface. Specified value, confirm and then finish the sketch and now we are able to continue. Over here I'd like to show you that not only extrude feature you are able to use the direct uh, edges will be perpendicular but we would like to also use the taper. So for example if I will specify the angle 7 you will see that system will not use the straight line and also I can see here that maybe some angle is there. So for example 2 degree will be good and come from OK. Fine. Also on the top I can see here that is not straight line but maybe over here is some curves. So if we will jump back over here so we will create simple extrude feature but not as the solid but as the surface. And what does it mean? If we will select right now the sketch plane and over here we will create only single arc. So for example like this. Yep, we will come from OK. We are able to create the surface. We are able also specify that it will be symmetric and we will create something bigger. Yes, of course. Now I like to use the surface modeling and also the feature solidified. So what does it mean? I like to remove material and choose which side will be removed. You are also able to create standard extrude feature, but this is something what you would like to 
learn something more and also what I would like to do is to show you some base surface modeling functionality also here. Fine, maybe we will change the configuration here that edges will be more visible and also I don't want to use the spin center maybe we don't need to see all additional datum features. What do I will be to, how I would like to continue, we will create a couple of rounds. So on the bottom, if I will select right now, only edge will be one round. If I will select right mouse button and left, the system will show me m the intent edges and we are able to select more. Then also we are able to continue. I am able to specify the additional intent edges and specify the radius. If you will confirm and finish, the system will show me the all additional information. We can continue with top round and specify some dimension. So it's only about the shape and you can add more over here. You see that is more round feature, but we don't want to focus now on the round feature. Really, I'd like to create the cut here and how we will create it. I will jump here in the picture and over here you can see there is some offset. If it is offset at surface, we are able also use the offset feature here. So let's jump to the offset and we will specify which surface will be offset. But we don't want to offset only standard offset, but we would like to expand. And in the option tab, you are able to use the sketch region. And if we will go in the sketch plane and orientation plane, we are able to finish and specify the shape what we would like to offset. So for example, I like to offset this shape and if it is not symmetric we are able to specify the center line it will be much nicer yeah over here something like this and for example will be something bigger for example 250 will be good enough yeah we are satisfied with the dimension we are able to continue and now the system would like to do something but as you can see i've selected only one surface and maybe we need more because our section is going through these all surfaces and if it's going through the all surfaces we really have to specify how the system will work and do then uh, you can specify it if you would like to go outside or inside and we have to be careful how the system will calculate the shape i will jump for the full visualization yeah as the attached preview and over here you can see that if we will go outside or inside system will add or remove the material but maybe this cut is not good so we don't want to offset metal normal to surface but maybe we would like to translate or it's better that side surface will, will be normal to surface no to normal to sketch yep and then for example So play with a little bit how we would like to create your shape. So for now you can see that I have leave it as the normal to surface offset method and also side surfaces will be normal to surface, no normal to sketch because the sketch will be perpendicular and this is not good. Okay, so re we have specified the values necessary, the offset preferences and if we will come from okay, the first shape will be done. So simple, it's a first one then is necessary only create a, another one for example simple extrude feature and if we will continue like this i will really create only simple extrude feature if the orientation is not good you are able to sell a right mouse button and section orientation and for example set vertical or also you are able to specify sketch plane and orientation so no left but maybe you would like to go to the top and the system will directly orient. So you are able to reuse both orientation method. And then what we can do, we would like to also create a symmetrical rectangle. So I will use the center line and specify the references. And over here will be maybe better if you will have a look from the opposite direction. So again, from the plane we will go opposite and we will see what we want yeah so over here 
right now rectangle will be created and maybe the shape is like this and what we would like to do we would like to really create an add material yep over here yep so it's up to you how you will specify it and now you need to add material and then you have to remove material so for example i will leave it as it is yeah it will be much more everything you can change here if you would like to change dimension you can play over here directly in the 3d view and when we will finish now we are able again to create a round feature for internet gs and specify the round that will looks much better and now if we will specify extrude feature and we will go back and again we will use the project as not single line li but whole uh, tangent edges with the shift button you can select it system will use every edges from the surface and when you confirm now you don't want to add but you would like to remove a little bit yes so if we will quickly double check it is here and it's a little bit inside so specify dimension as you need and then at the end what you need to do create round features and the shape will looks like here over here you can use the offset feature or you can create the extrude feature depends if you would like to follow the shape or not yep so at the bottom it's really similar we can quickly try to do it yep so offset set the surface but as the expand feature and in the option sketching region and we will do like this if you would like to see it from the opposite direction you can flip and sketch yeah and again symmetrical and simple rectangle for example like this and if we will finish we would like to see it in real world and you can expand yeah now the question is if you would like to be uh, again the normal to sketch or normal to surface yeah so if i will select surface so we can finish and also you are able to specify the round features and finish and add some much more so over here you have seen the first part how to create the features based on the extrude feature offset feature and some automatic round based on the intent edges in the next tutorial i will focus how to continue on this model and i'd like to show you a couple of examples how to create shape like this and thanks again for your question stay tuned and bye bye Vladimir.